Hello and welcome to my six string journey. In this video I'm going to be reviewing my lesson 20 in which we've got a new challenge. I'll be back with that in just a moment. Hi, I'm Cypher and on this channel I'm reviewing all of my guitar lessons, the gear that I use, my highs and my lows, and today it's all about lesson 20. Now this was undertaken on the 13th of May, day 302, so we're just over the 300 days now, and about 82 hours of practice thus far. So in this lesson we basically reviewed my practice session and I'm now doing around about 30 minutes a day, every single day. Um, my dexterity and the strength in my hand is getting better all of the time and that's allowing me to play a little bit more. Also not pressing down so hard on the frets is helping as well to enable me to play for that little bit longer during each practice session, which is all good. So I'm starting off with the um, little scale, G major scale that I've been working on and then I go into the exercise for the particular lesson so at the moment it's heroes and then finishing up on the pentatonic scale and all of that's changing a little bit now because Michael wants me to work a little bit more on the pentatonic scale and try and get the beats up so at the moment I'm up to around about 110 beats per minute I'm still struggling with my little finger a little bit when I'm playing that so I'll just show you So you can hear there that I'm getting a little bit fuzzy on the low G string where my little finger is not pressing down quite hard enough and I've got to move my hand around the back of the neck a little bit more. My stretch is getting better but I've still got to work on that a little bit more. And then when I come down to that high E and uh, the second string as well, um, I need to get more on my fingertips. I'm laying my finger down a little bit too much so I need to work on that a little bit more. So we're up to about 110 beats per minute at the moment. I need to be getting up to 145, but I'm working up to it slowly because I want to keep the technique and the bend in the fingers and using my fingertips a little bit more. It's pretty easy to just ramp up the metronome or the, um, the drum machine that I'm using here to get the speed but then I'm finding that the technique goes. And for the moment, I still want to concentrate on the technique rather than the speed and just build the speed up slowly. So that's where we are at with the pentatonic. Not playing the smaller scale too much, just basically working on the pentatonic. Then I work on heroes and I come back to the pentatonic at the end. So that tends to be my practice session after my warm up, of course. So with regards to heroes, we are still struggling with the chord changes. So no great surprise there. But going from the D to the G is actually better. Now I'm on camera so it's bound to go wrong, but this is where we're at at the moment.
Oh, so you can see there that the changes from the D to the G are getting better and back and I'm still practicing those quite a bit with just single chord strums so basically one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four Three, four. So you can see I'm still struggling a little bit with those. Um, but when we're getting back up to speed, the D to the G is definitely getting a lot better than it was. And I did have to look back on previous videos to remind myself that it is getting better because when you're playing this for half an hour a day, at the end of the session, it's very easy to think, no, this is rubbish. You're never going to get this. You're wasting your time. Uh, so I do look back and just give myself a little bit of a kick. So just try that again. So the more that I play it, the better it does become. And I tend to find during a half hour session, I play this for about 20 minutes. For about the first five minutes, it's awful. Then for about 10 minutes, it sort of comes good. And then about the last sort of five minutes or so, when my fingers are getting tired, it goes a bit grotty again. So uh, I've just jumped straight onto the camera just on Sunday morning just to record this one. Um, so I've not really done a full warm up and not really played these uh, chords for very long. So you can see how that does affect performance. But we are getting there with the D to G. Getting the C, I can now play a relatively clean chord fairly quickly but transitioning from the G to the C, for instance, still is a bit of a struggle. Um, I'm working on it and I'm getting there. So what I need to do is just keep on practicing going between the two. And it will come good. And then obviously from the D, to the A minor and the E minor as well. I need to just practice on those as well. And it will come. Um, so my challenge at the moment is to continue to work on heroes, getting the speed up. We want to get it up to around about 120 beats per minute. And then I might be able to start playing along with the backing track. But for the moment, uh, practice is making things easier, but it is a half hour of practice every single day to try and get this. And I'm, again, with the pentatonic scale and also heroes, I'm trying to concentrate more on clean chords rather than just strumming and keeping up. A uh, few people have said, well, just keep strumming with the right hand and your left hand will catch up. I have actually tried that and found that that doesn't necessarily work for me. And I've spoken to Michael about it. And also I had an interview with somebody, which uh, I'll be talking about on another video, but I had an interview with somebody just recently and they were a guitar teacher and said, yeah, you want to major more on the technique and getting a clean chord rather than just banging out songs because further down the line, that is going to stand me in better stead and I'll be able to move on rather than maybe getting the muscle memory where I've got a, what I refer to as a dirty chord and then I've got to unlearn that chord and reteach myself the muscle memory for the clean chord. So that's basically where we're at at the moment. So we are starting our practice session with the usual warm up. Then we're into about five minutes of pentatonic scale. I'm then doing around about 15 to 20 minutes 
of Heroes and then finishing up with another five minutes to the pentatonic scale at the end. That's my current practice routine. So I'm going to crack on with that and I will probably do a follow up video in a week's time just to see how I'm getting on. And I'll also then have some news about some changes to the channel and hopefully some news about this video, which I believe should be going out on Tuesday. So anyway, I will be back with all of that very soon. If you like this video, please hit the bell for notifications of future videos, including that one with the news. And also please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, thank you ever so much. Your support is very much appreciated. Anyway, I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.